I don't know what to do. I don't want to do this match, but that's my award. I want it fair and square in the middle of the ring. You saw it. Everyone, everyone saw it on UWC Online. Everyone saw it there at the Battle Zone. What do we do? You have the answers for everything. You're correct. I do have answers for everything. And I have an answer to this question that you have proposed to me. What are we going to do? I know exactly what we're going to do. We don't even have to do the match. We don't have to do the match because I have an award in the mail right now. You sign up on Amazon.com Prime. You get it in two days. It should be here any minute, any second, any hour, any time. An award with your name on it. We just have to wait for the mailman to get here. And it's yours. We don't have to do the match. It'll be presented here. Yes, right to so the I, back. I will have my award back. I don't have to do the match. I don't have to climb to get the thing off the pole. No, I'll have it. It's mine. Yes. It's in the mail. Trust me. It'll be here anytime. I hate to say this, but you haven't served me wrong yet. I, I believe you. As a matter so of fact, it will be here. I'm going to go check the tracking number. Let's go. for another edition of UWC Online, and I am very happy, I'm Eric Roy, and very happy in the booth with me this morning in the Crow's Nest. We have with us the Sheriff, Titty Nashville. Hello, sir. Hi, kids. It has been a while since you and I have shared the same day. I know, it's nostalgic right now. Yes. I'm wondering where Slick Nick is. <laughs> but that's... I'm that's Jethro. Well. Yeah, well, we know where Jethro <laughs> is. We have two big men in there right now, and the champion... Whoa! Let's see if Knight had him hooked. Big beat in there against Sam Knight. Oh, pulled him right into that one. So you've got some duties here today. Yes, yes I do. As the champion works over Sam Knight, Sam Knight's got himself a couple wins. He and Cecil Cerveza have had their battles. I tell you what, I have never seen people hate Blake Reed and Dickie Wabash. Well, you know, that, that is definitely true, and a lot of it has to do with, of course, the tactics, but yes. also the success they've had off the tactics. Dickie Wabash, as much as it may pain people to say it, has got two people to the UWC Championship. Knight back in the corner. Breaking him across that top rope. Reed taking a little too much time with the audience. Let the manager handle that. Right back to Knight in the corner and right to the throat. He really has developed since getting that belt, and maybe a little before, a little more confidence to go with his talent. Of course, he had a little help in getting that belt. Oh, of course, of course. Rose Knight across the ring. I assume, and I'm just going out on a limb here, that uh, getting that belt around your waist gives one more confidence to do the things that they want to do. Well, yeah, I think that's true. And you can see working kind of, again, Knight across that rope. Knight's kind of hung to dry here. Pull back across that rope again. You're getting a good look at it at home. And pulls him back again. Knight really hasn't had too much offense so far against the champion. Fire going to the middle, but it's beaten back down. The man known as the right hand from God is so far not gotten in any offense. Cover. The breeze. Just a two. I don't think that bothered Reed in the slightest. No, not it's at a, all. It's a chance to work his opponent over some more. He really hasn't been tested very much since getting that championship. Well, you know, and I'm not sure that anybody can actually defeat Blake Reed. Well, look at this. Runs right into the boot. Second time he runs into the elbow. Comes up, ooh, tries a clothesline, nothing happens. Tries a second time, the big guy's not going anywhere. Knight coming off, whoa, misses that time, and comes off right the first time. And the big man goes down with a boom. Now Knight gets the cover. Let's get out of the no. Knight needs to get 
back on the champion. Well, he's moving. Straps down. Nope. Oh. Oh. Nope. Nope. Couple Power elbows. Down. Tries to kick to the midsection. Swings him around. Oh, back kick that time. Oh, that was stopped in a hurry. Just caught him. Just caught him. Up. Lance him. And a cover. Good night. That's the ball game. That is the ball game there. And the champion shows you why. He is the champion. And Dickie Wabash in there polishing the belt for him. But it is going to be very tough for anyone to get that belt back away from Mr. Reed. Oh, I don't doubt that. Size advantage. Dickie Wabash in his corner. And uh, his uh, former tag team partner also in his corner, Travis Weir, on occasion. I don't even want to think about that, boy. No, no, and not right now, I don't think so. But what he can tell you is this. Right now, your UWC heavyweight champion is Blake Reed. And that belt thing's coming off pretty soon. Now, wait a minute. Now, Cecil Cerveza has walked out to the ring right past his former teammate. And... Oh, oh I... He just kicks, kicks Sam Knight in the side of the head. Now... Now... He's really had it out for Knight. Knight's got a couple of victories. One clean and one... By disqualification, and uh, Cerveza can't seem to get it out of his head. And another stomp to the back of Sam Knight. Uh, in all the years I've known Cecil Cerveza, he is a sour player. UWC Online is taking over the world of social media. Connect with all of our fans through the official Facebook page, facebook.com slash UWC Georgetown. Watch all the past and current episodes of UWC Online on our official YouTube page. Get late-breaking news and notes when you follow at UWC Georgetown on Twitter. And check out the photographs and still shots from our world-class photographer on our official Instagram page. UWC Online, a truly interactive experience. <laughs> No one's online, right? We gotta get our tie straps back. We gotta be ready. We gotta be on top. Gentlemen, gentlemen. How are you doing here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Just a second. I'm here, uh, I got a proposition for you tonight. Spit it out, I ain't got all night. Well, you know, uh, natural selection's coming up yeah. in a couple of weeks, and, uh, well, I've got two guys. I need two more guys to help take out John Stone and his team. Oh, so you naturally you come to us thinking we're gonna be on your side? Well, we do have a past. We think. Hey, right, come on, you gotta focus. We get. We think about the situation. Natural selection. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Tell you what, I'll be out there with you tonight. I know you got a title shot. How about that? Help you get those titles. You know, you helped us once. Maybe I'll do it again. So yeah, we're on your team. All right. Good deal. Big Frank Wyatt going up against Spencer Wallace with a uh, redoubtable Mr. Dupree at yeah. ringside. And I have to say, uh, Spencer Wallace's uh, one loss record has certainly improved as of recently. You know, Spencer Wallace is a changed man since I first met him in his first couple days at UWC. He is more vicious, more volatile, and he is downright dangerous sometimes. He has become uh, that, and part of it, I think, uh, is due with his uh, teaming, teaming with Mark Landy. Yep. That will, that will uh, change anybody's attitude in a hurry. Uh, when they have tagged up, they have been quite a dangerous pair. Uh, Vandy kind of, whoa, look at this. Wow, that's, that'll, you got to give the young man some credit there, going after the big guy, and now he's made the big guy mad, unfortunately. Bullying him into the corner is Wyatt. Just kind of mauling him in the corner. And comes back again, hits him. Oh. Smacking him a couple times. Is now beating him down, and Wallace Big blows to the back. <laughs> yeah, Wallace is getting out of there. They get to give the young man some credit. I mean, he's going up against a guy who's easily twice his size. Yeah, 
kind of tugged on Superman's cape that time, but uh, he's still there to live. Oh, swing and a miss. It comes back again. It really oh, hasn't. Big right. He says, come on, hit me again. A little chop. A bigger chop. Right side to the side of the head. And a belt to the back of the head. Ooh. Taking him to the woodshed. And a headbutt. You know that's hurting. Right hand to the top of the skull. Crowd asking him to do it one more time. Brings him out to the middle. And big head. Down he goes. Spencer Wallace. Kick to the corner. You know, mention his tag team with Mark Vandy. Vandy kind of uses him as a weapon. No, I can understand his reasoning behind that. He kind of takes him and throws him into the other opponents as a battering ram. Of course, oh, no, it doesn't quite make it. Oh, his knee goes down. Did his knee blow out? Uh, his knee went down. His knee went out on that one. And yeah, the referee checking. Oh, comes back poking the eye. Well, I think maybe played a little possum that yeah. time. Yeah, smart move. A headbutt of his own. Kind of, still kind of shaking out that knee. Maybe his knee did give out on him, but he certainly did use it to his advantage. Very good possibility. We've seen a couple folks tweak knees in this UWC arena time again. Right to the eyes, and another headbutt. You've got some official doties coming up on this next yes. UWC online show. Yes, yes I do. And uh, unfortunately involving two people we both know very well. I know they say blood is thicker than water, sometimes that's not always the case. And kick to the side. Looks like that knee's doing okay now. As Wallace drops an elbow and gets a cover on Frank Wyatt. So and Wallace going straight to the eyes now. You know, Wyatt has the size advantage, but I think Wallace might just be a little bit quicker. But make no mistake about it, Wyatt does have a mean streak too. And he also can get down and wrestle with you. I mean, he can get on the mat and move a little bit. I think what, oh, look at this biting now right to the forehead. I think what Wallace may also have an advantage of, he's a, he's a, he's about an elbow right to the side. Yeah, see, he's got about 49 cards in his deck. Yeah. And maybe he doesn't know when he's not supposed to be doing some of these things. A couple fries short of a happy meal. Oh, yeah. Right back to the face of Frank Wyatt. Yeah. Again, if, they, if the big man can't see, whoa, we almost hit the hit the referee. That wouldn't have been good. Yeah, that could have been a fun. You know, you'd have to you'd have to get out the yeah. get out the receipt book for that one. Well, both of these competitors head butting away here. Again, right to the back. We haven't really seen a lot of mat wrestling yet. They haven't been down no. down on the mat yet. Blow for blow, these two. And I guess we have Wallace credit for standing up to the most of these. It throws him into the ropes, comes off. Oh, well, that, that'll take you down. Hit you like a freight train. Yeah. Hits it back up again and again, and down he goes. And, and any balance problems he might have had are exacerbated oh. there. Picks him up. Drops him. Down goes Wallace. Yeah, I think that might be all. And a cover. One, two. No, he kicked out. Barely. Well, just barely fired that left shoulder up off the mat. No help from Dupree at all. You know, he's, he's letting him in there. He's, so far, he's tossed him into the Sharks, and he's taking a beating. Oh, back to the eyes again. And another headbutt. Elbow to the side of the head. Wallace. See, and now we'll get to see how this knee goes. Not a whole lot of momentum, and it's caught anyway. And hooked. Wallace with elbows to the back of the head. Spin and lands. Right in the pork chops. Yep. He's done, Wallace says. Wallace coming off the ropes, and... Oh, yeah, I think he's done. Cover, one, two, and that's it. Yeah, he, he ran right into that one. 
Hey, wait, 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 wait. Is that the mail? Yeah. I got that. I'll deliver it right where it needs to go. You just go ahead and go about your business. I got this right here. Boy, do I got this. Bradley Dupree is in the ring. Maybe another nice friendly game of Red Rover. Yeah. Uh -oh. Whoa, 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 Dupree. What? Imagine Frank Wyatt doing that. And you got to know. Hey, Kate gives him his card. Wednesday nights. After Lucha Underground, tune in to UPTV6 for a full hour of pro wrestling in Central Illinois, starting off with the nosebleed seats, presenting action from across the region, news and interviews, followed by UWC Online with weekly episodic wrestling from Georgetown. That's the MBS TV at 10 p.m., followed by UWC Online at 10.30 p.m., only on UPTV6. He said that he, if he loses to Jason B, then he will leave UWC. What's that got to do with us, man? If I lose next week, I don't deserve to be here. John Stone is going to be at ringside like he was in last week's title match. Bradley Dupree will be at ringside. Rough cut. Know what those belts look like. Now, look, last week, you know, Josh Steele has not won a match yet this year. He and, uh, it's a pretty rough record. Yeah, and he's going to get the start here. He's really kind of got the, uh, whoa, look out. Roll up. One. That was almost a quick tag team match. Up, crucifix, maybe. Oh, Steele's got him up on the shoulders now. Oh, flips right out of it. Drop kick, perfect. And the tag into the Tornado Jones. We just got a tornado warning. Off the rope. Oh, looks like we got a touchdown. Yes, and a cover. One, two, no. Steele getting that right shoulder up off the mat. And he's going to power his way out, which is the way Rough Cut does things. Headlock brings him up for a super. Again, runs out of it. And a drop kick sends him in. It's tough to use those type of moves against the smaller opponents because they have enough time to get their feet down. That's exactly what happens. Whoa, look Ooh. out. Run right into his teammate. Oh, Ooh. kick. Now they got both of them. Unfortunately, it takes both corner. of them to move both sides. A whip drop kick oh, and another drop goodness. kick in the corner. Elbow. Oh. And we've got a big tornado going on now. Look at this. Uh, feeding the beast. Oh! Massive power bomb by both swings. Cover. Could be a new champion, though. It's tough to keep Jones down for a small fellow. He takes a lot of punishment. I remember when he started this whole campaign to be, to be Joey O'Reilly's tag team partner. At first, O'Reilly was hesitant. Man, it's, it's paid off in the long run. Now he's taking a beating from both. That oh. just literally frozen in his tracks. With her. Almost got him. 
Well, it, it kind of leads into what we've got going on in the next edition of UWC Online, where O'Reilly had the championship with Aaron Matthews. Lost that championship. One, two. Oh, that was barely a kick out of three. And uh, then Matthews not able to hold up to his end of the tag team bargain. So O'Reilly got a new tag team partner and they've been successful, obviously. Hence why I have been summoned to officiate some duties. One, two. Oh. Steele only getting a two count on Jones. And by officiating duties, you don't mean changing diapers this time. Ooh. Not this time, anyways. Well, Cecil Cervais is back there. One, two, nope. It's really tough to keep this fella down. Steel, big headbutt. Steel's got kind of extra pressure. He's got, he got um, an earful from uh, the big guy last time. Flipped up. And now a cover by Sawyer. Two, no. O'Reilly keeps coming in, but he hasn't really needed his help yet. Sawyer really gave his partner an earful last week. I can imagine a losing streak since the beginning of 2015. We're five months in. And the headlock. Yeah, now you see that tag team that got them the titles. Big monstrous beat down type four. One, two, no. Nope. Not a kick out, a rollout. That was that was Sawyer's mistake. You gotta make sure and put the pressure on the shoulders. Elbow to the midsection and a third one. Tried to run away from him, but Sawyer caught him before he could. And flips him that time. That's one of those things that can break a nose real easy. I saw a heavyweight fight end with that. And those just splattered all over the guy's face. Up in the corner. Jones desperately needs to make a tag here. He's he's not got much left in the tank. Yeah. I don't know why. I wouldn't necessarily very well kick. I wouldn't put him in his element on the top rope. Oh, catches him. Throws him over the top. The end of the kick. And another kick. And Sawyer, disoriented, goes down. Now Jones needs to get over to that corner. Double count out here, that's not gonna help anybody. Tag into Steele. Steel to O'Reilly. Here comes the Dragon Sword. Oh! Spinning back kick. O'Reilly off the ropes. Doesn't quite take his man down. Not so much. Oh, there it is. That could be all. One, two, no. Sawyer runs in, gets clipped. That could take out that knee he's been having trouble with. Drop kick into the corner. And Sawyer goes down. O'Reilly. Coast he's to up coast. To. Oh my gosh. From New York to California. Absolutely, but they ran into steel. Reverse. Hit. Off the ropes. Down he goes. Tornado Joe.
giving it to him. So he is beside himself. Steele is just, I don't know what's going through his head right now. He says, it's on you. He's asking, he's asking for a microphone. Well, we don't really hear that out of Steele very much. Uh, no. Strong silent type. Usually it's uh, Sawyer or Dupree. What is, what is he quitting? Is he, does he quit the team? Well, that really, at the very least, it throws a wrench into Bradley Dupree's plans. He's down like, one team member. It's like his two slots that he just filled, one just opened back up. Next week on UWC Online, you will see the number one contender, homicidal Stephen Davis, take on Cecil Cerveza. The natural selection contract signing between Aaron Matthews and Jason B. Plus, tag team action as Alex Castle and Travis Weir team up to face Parker Dirge and Norman.